What is New Historicism? New Historicism is a style of literary analysis developed mainly in the United States from the 1980s onwards, which challenges the dominance of deconstruction and the legacy of new criticism by attempting to produce a cultural poetics and reintroducing a historical dimension to literary studies. It is often seen as the American equivalent to the cultural materialism of Raymond Williams, as further developed by Dolly Moore and Sinfield's collection of essays on political Shakespeare. It is important to note that there is a certain overlap between new historicism and queer theory. The expression new historicism is generally accepted as having been coined by Stephen Greenblatt in his preface to an important collection of essays on English Renaissance literature, and Renaissance and Shakespeare studies are its privileged field of application, whilst journals like Representations, New Literary History and English Literary History are its main institutional supports. Greenblatt initially defined new historicism as the study of the collective making of cultural practices and an inquiry into the relations among those practices. New historicism might be more accurately described as a set of preoccupations, rather than a fully-fledged theory. Influences range from Michel Foucault to Clifford Goetz's notion of thick description, and the meta-history of Hayden White, as well as strands within Western Marxism. The invocation of a historical framework does not mark a return to the traditional view that history is a stable or unified body of facts, or a neutral background to the literary text. It is a constituent part of both the facts and the text. Louis Montrose, for example, speaks of the historicity of texts and the textuality of history. The general assumptions that reappear throughout the various forms of new historicism have been conveniently summarized by Harold Wieser in his key anthology. All expressive acts are embedded in a network of material practices, which means that literary, and non-literary texts circulate inseparably and penetrate one another. For Wieser, no discourse gives access to unchanging truths, or to an inalterable human nature. Hence, Every act of criticism and opposition necessarily employs the tools it is criticizing. As Hayden White puts it, history itself is a text made up of tropes, and it is inescapable. Finally, a critical method that describes cultural production in a capitalist society is part of the economy it describes.